Hello, dear co-creative destiny weavers. Here's a very flowery. <laughs> like I call myself, it's Friday. And I like to tell fairy tales or wise stories, which make us bloom or think bigger or yeah just get us to open up um, our wise selves and today I feel intuitively that I want to tell the story again like I told before I learned the story from the mythic storyteller Michael Mead and his book why the world doesn't end <clears throat> It's a story from white Apache, Native American Indians about an old woman who is weaving a garment in a dark cave during the times of the, uh, of the dark dog, black dog times. So there was a time when there was no time, really, there was this old woman sitting in a cave and she was creating this beautiful, beautiful garment. And, and at the same time, there was a big cauldron that she stood up and stirred it once in a while. And then she returned back and continued with this beautiful garment where we don't even know how long she has been weaving on. And she even included beautiful details. And, and as it happened, once upon a time, while she slowly walked to the cauldron, that the black dog was there as well, not far away, stirred this beautiful garment apart and all the threads were loose when the old woman returned. But she didn't get angry or anything. She just picked up one of the th loose threads and she sat down and she started to make a new garment, not even thinking about the old one anymore. Just imagining the most beautiful garment possible. And so a new garment emerged, even after all the cows that the dark dog has brought around. And for me, this story is filled with so much potent symbolism, like the dark dog standing for a lot of havoc and uncertainty and chaos that we also experience in current times. And the cave is to me like this big safe womb, which I like to call weird like the ruin of nothingness, so at the same time everything emerges. And once we send ourselves in this unknown, in this cave, and pick up something and dream our potential whilst we are like weaving the thread, then something beautiful emerges through the power of our consciousness and yeah, to the power of our hands and our intentions. This can also be compared to an old Japanese art, which is called Kintsugi or golden jointery. And that has, and after I watched the documentary Aluna, where the native Skogi also go around using a golden thread to reweave broken parts I was very inspired to do gold work embroidery and I have actually completed this beautiful golden flower of life where 
I practice it together with a friend from London online, Shireen Lovegrove. And as it happened, it became real that we picked up our golden thread of genius. We joined our geniuses and this week we created a wealthy woman, um, weaving wealthy women group and we did three days masterclass where we similarly invited women to pick up the thread and and like in this Japanese art of golden jointry it's about also that the broken parts can become our medicine when we put gold in it and in there's also this myth that our golden genius is hidden deep within us like this in this cave of the woman and only if we pick it up consciously and bring it to the surface incorporating all those broken parts then we can create our genius self so i'm very excited uh, about this new project emerging and we're planning to do a master class all through october each tuesday between 9 and 11 central european time so you're more than welcome to join our master classes to find out more about this work and i hope you also see the gold inside these dark times many blessings blagadaru